to everyone as i am here to give them christmas message once the pastor preached about the second coming of jesus to the people after the mass everybody left the church a mother and a child they were having a discussion the mother said jesus is going to come very soon and the child asked the mother when is he going to come then the mother said i don't know then the child told the mother can't be check it in the internet so most of the time we are looking our lord in the internet therefore we need to change ourselves we need to be with jesus because we are with joyful mood today most of you are so joyful but only today once the celebration is over we are involved in our own duties and thus we don't have time to be more joyful when we look at the birth of jesus we need to understand that it gives a special positive vibes because it is the season of holiday and it really brings everyone together and it is a unique and enchanted vacation that is adored by both young and old people worldwide the christmas holiday encourages people to coexist peacefully with one another therefore we need to be more peaceful in our lives this is a celebration of peace secondly when we see it is a festival without limits christmas is a sign of our unity in a country rich in variety thus we all celebrate christmas events together in spite of lot of differences in religions and no even is complete without this christmas and the christmas festival is it has no expectation but it is a celebration of, of compassion it's a celebration of peace it's a celebration of compassion therefore to be more compassionate towards the other people as a people of god we need to come away from our sinful way of life because people continue to celebrate christmas day well into the night by going to meals and restaurants and sometimes anywhere we like to go and we have lot of dancing and music it all happens it does because it purifies and makes us to be more joyful according to a popular belief the lord came to earth to save lives and shield humanity from pain and sin therefore dear friends we need to understand that we are called to be more faithful to jesus 
and it also brings mutual love and brotherhood today we find lot of differences within us and we don't come together very often we come together on occasion of christmas then we depart from here and we have no time to come together again maybe when we have the rituals we come together and live but it always tells us that this mutual love and brotherhood is very very important in our life it should not become just as the festival of any other festival but it should bring us a message telling that we all are sharing the love and brotherhood of each one of us and similarly it also teaches us about mutual love brotherhood and also to have benevolence of god the way god jesus christ worked for humanity for mutual harmony in his short lifetime he is the source of inspiration for all of us therefore this christmas should inspire each one of us to feel the love and brotherhood it also brings lot of happiness because we decorate the christmas tree and we enjoy the light but we need to understand this happiness should not remain within us most of the time and we see our happiness only remains within us but it is right the happiness is right here and now most of us do not have the happiness when you take the life of your family i don't think all of you are so happy are you all happy with your family life you should be i don't think because before marriage as a youth person you are so happy once you get married you are automatically worried about your kids once they grow up you are worried about their young age once they come up then you are worried about their married life once they are married you feel peaceful but you cannot be peaceful because always you face lot of problems therefore we do not know when the happiness comes and goes but we need to have that happiness here and now therefore we should enjoy every day in our life that's what jesus tells to each one of us happiness is right here and now so let us enjoy this happiness of christmas and also if you are happy let your face know especially if all of you go to go in front of your mirror and stand and say i look like someone will you get the happiness will we get the happiness i don't think just we always compare ourselves with others that is not happiness for us but it is here yeah, it, it is always good that someone who has heard the good news of the gospel namely that i am loved unconditionally by god we should never think that i am not loved by anyone unconditionally Unconditi- loved by god that's why jesus was born on this earth that is the reason why we are celebrating the christmas every year otherwise we don't celebrate his birth his birth if it does not give any meaning to our life if it does not give any happiness to our life 
if it is not giving peace love and brotherhood i don't think we are going to celebrate it and also the happiness will come to us if we set about if you set ourselves actively trying to create it for others it's not only a celebration for ourselves it is a celebration for all of us not only for catholics not only for christians but is it is for all the people who are living around the world therefore it should bring happiness to all the people it should bring the joy to all the people if i go about my life demanding that others ca- carry me rather than seeking to carry them and if i think i need to fe- i i need to be fed by someone instead of feeding the other people if i am demanding that others sh- should meet my needs rather than trying to meet theirs joy will never find me no matter how hard i party or try to clang up good good things or good cheer therefore dear friends we need to understand this in a better way once pope francis said there is no prayer in which jesus does not inspire us to do something our faith in jesus is seen in strong action the poor are help at our christmas collections we are we might ask not what we might get for christmas but how our christmas might help others we might ask that christmas will will be happy for others because of us happy in body with enough food for every family happy in mind that we know the truth of god's coming into the world and happy in forgiveness as that is one of god's biggest gift for all of us therefore we need to understand this and we need to know that this christmas should bring all these activities in our life first of all love peace forgiveness brotherhood harmony helping hand and accepting other people as ourselves this is what jesus expects and this is what jesus tells today through this christmas message to all of you once there was a priest and he was always gloomy sad and he never had happiness in his life as we say sometime when we see some people by nature they are so happy they are joyful especially for shindo he is always joyful and most of you are always joyful but some, there are some people who are always gloomy or sad it so happened the associate pastor was always preaching about sadness whenever he preached on sundays he was preaching about the sadness the parish priest called him my dear uh, priest next week when you preach or uh, when you preach next time please preach about saint joseph as a cheerful person then he went and as to